GBH TV is brought to you by Grand Blank CTE. What's up, GB? It's Brie and Celine. Let us introduce you guys to our special guest for this week. What's up, GB? I'm Blake, and this week's theme is Christmas. Jingle bells, GB. Happy holidays, GB. Sweaters. <laughs> I love blanks. I have to say. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. So, what are you doing for the holidays? What I'm going to be doing for the holidays is hanging out with Blake right here. This is my cousin. I love him so much. What does Christmas mean to you? Christmas means that I get to spend lots of time with my family and eat good food. Do you think Christmas is overrated? I think it's really overrated. I think that it's more about commercialism and people buying gifts rather than the gatherness of the season. Do you have any holiday traditions? Yeah, on Christmas morning, we usually wake up and open presents, and then we go hang out with family, like at my aunt and uncle's house, and help with presents there, and just hang out for the rest of the day. What does Christmas mean to you? Well, Christmas means just spending time with family, doing all those traditions that everyone has, and just having a good time. What does Christmas mean to you? It means I get presents. Do you think Christmas is overrated? A little bit, because I don't understand the point of up, um, decorating all outside, because you decorate, and then like the next day, you got to take it all down. What's your favorite part about Christmas? Spending time with my family. Are you going anywhere for the holidays? To the couch. All right, Ashley, where are you going for the holidays? Um, for the holidays, I'm going to go to my parents' house, then my in-laws, and then hang out at home. Do you think Christmas is overrated? Christmas is not overrated. It is not overrated. Do you think Christmas is overrated? No, because it's the most wonderful time of the year. Hey, do you have any Christmas traditions? Before Christmas Eve, we go over to my granny house, and we just chill and stuff. That's good. I like that. I like that. Do you guys like our outfits? Yeah, Blake looked like a little girl, but it's okay. Are you doing anything for the holiday? Just celebrating with family. Do you think Christmas is overrated? No. Christmas is amazing. It's not overrated at all. Do you see this? I'm all in. Hello, we're back with Miss Wilson. What are you doing for Christmas? Well, I'll tell you. We need to spend Christmas with my sister. We sit around a lot. That seems to be a theme in my life. Frolic in the snow, eat fun stuff, another theme. <laughs> and just like be together with family. It's fun. And do you have any Christmas traditions? Um, our Christmas tradition is my family does this thing called the Little Brown Lady. It's in addition to Santa Claus. When I was growing up, didn't have a lot of money growing up, so my mom and my dad would buy stuff after Christmas and say that the Little Brown Lady brought it. As a kid, didn't know the difference um, until I got older and not everybody had a Little Brown Lady but me. And so I passed it on to my daughter and so we will be doing that after Christmas also. Wow, I like that a lot. And drive. Should I tell the truth? <laughs> yes. No, I do not. No. 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 Do you text and drive? No. You text and drive? Yeah. Do you, do you text and drive? Of course not. You sure? Positive. Do you text and drive? 
Nope. No, I do not. No. No. No, do you? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't? I know you do. I'll let you think about your answer if I you want. I do not. Uh, do you text and drive? No. Do you? Yes. Why do you text and drive? No, somebody texts me, I text them back. But do you think it would still be better to wait? To wait? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't crash my car. Both ways. Good afternoon, Grand Blank. I'm Karina bringing you your winter break forecast. Unfortunately, you can't expect a white Christmas this year because the temperatures will be rising throughout the middle of the week to the upper 40s. You know where the temperature will also be rising? The North Pole. We will have a low temperature of 26 degrees and a high of 46. But fear not, we will in fact have snow on the 28th of December. However, that is probably not going to translate to a snow day. So unless you decide to wear your pajamas inside out or flush down a couple of ice cubes down the toilet, we likely will not have one by the time school comes back. However, you never know. Happy holidays. Hi, my name is Mrs. Ausnehmer and I teach web design, accounting, and work-based learning at the high school. The work-based learning program is an opportunity for students um, to be in a planned program to work at a job that is related to their chosen career. I really like it because it gives me the opportunity to really do something different with my classes and have a like more fun senior year. The student might work for one hour or a few hours, or they could work during the school day here at the high school, or they may have a job outside of the school. So what makes this class unique is that students can take their skills that they learn in a class here at Grand Blanc High School, and they can transfer it to their job. I really got to learn more about business during Modern Business my sophomore year and I get to build upon those like business management skills and organization stuff with this class. I think one of the best parts of work-based learning is that the students will get the opportunity to be more in-depth with the skills that they learned in their class at Grand Lake High School and they can um, find out if their chosen career path is the way they still want to go. Any junior or senior can apply for work-based learning and they may be able to get credit for the job that they're already doing. It's definitely one of my favorites because I get to really do what I want. Accounting is a class where students learn the process of recording financial transactions um, for a business. Students can use the concepts learned in class for an entry level position in business or if they are studying business in college. It really just kind of helps you learn about the back end of businesses and all the accounts that are affected and everything that kind of takes place behind the closed doors of a business. The coursework for accounting is mostly online and when students complete problems they get immediate feedback on what they're doing correctly and what they're doing incorrectly. Anybody should take this class if you're really interested in the, the back end of business what happens in the day to day with your money in business. Mm -hmm. If you really want to be money conscious and know how money works, this class is for sure for you. The web design course teaches students how to build websites through coding using web design software. I think students that are drawn to this class love to use technology and love to be creative I think what students would enjoy most is actually seeing their finished, completed projects that they created and had a say in what it looks like. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.